While cold winter weather may send some of us running for cover, for many Canadians, it's an open invitation to get outside and hit the slopes. But what will these ski hills look like as our winters and our climate continue to warm? We've done modeling throughout Canada, the U.S., much of Europe. Um, and then we've also looked at all of the different uh, Winter Olympic hosts. So those are, are dispersed across Asia, Europe, and North America. Canada does, does generally better than most places as a country. But even within our borders, there's a lot of wiggle room. Ontario has seen some of the biggest changes to date, with green Christmases stalling seasons at Blue Mountain. But Quebec and the Rockies have fared a little better. When you get over into the interior of BC, you get that real cold um, and reliable cold to make snow, but you also get reasonable amount of snow coming over the mountains. Um, you see that in some of the passes and stuff that become unpassable at times. Research shows American ski seasons have been growing progressively shorter over the past decade, and Scott believes the same trend is already underway here in Canada. If correct, Scott says we can expect another 10 to 15 years of relative stability, but changes could ramp up by 2050 depending on how warm we get low emission sort of successful Paris climate agreement. Um, not much different than today. Um, a bit more, certainly higher operating costs, a little bit shorter season. But in the mid-century under a high emission scenario, you're already pushing the limits from, for snowmaking in some key parts of the year around Christmas, holiday, New Year. While a shorter season could hurt communities that rely on nearby slopes for tourism, it's unlikely that interest in skiing and snowboarding is going anywhere. If a big chunk of your competitors go out of business and demand stays the same relatively, which is what we've seen in record warm winters, the demand doesn't go away. Um, there's market share to be had. And so that's what you'll probably see both in the western regions, but in the eastern regions. Many in the industry are already working to adapt, whether it's harvesting snow elsewhere, making their own or diversifying into more summer activities. But across the board, two things are certain. Ski seasons will get shorter and operating costs will go up. Christy Kleinman-Higgis, CBC News, Edmonton.